everybody, I'm Nick at The Vote and we're at TX2K 2024 at Texas Motorplex in Ennis, Texas. And well, as you can see behind me, a lot of the cars are getting ready to do some qualifying passes and well, it's almost pretty much exotic and some domestic. So join us and follow us to see this incredible like five day event. So let's just get right to it and let's go see some racing. <laughs> Aaron Lopez, I have a 1998 Honda Civic hatchback H22 all-wheel drive. So far, best pass has been 763, 186. It's trapped size 192. Uh, event's been pretty good. I think uh, we got here a couple days into the event. They ran, I think we got eight qualifiers in. I made four. Um, car did pretty decent. Went 791, 180. We're working through some clutch issues, kind of uh, put a bigger turbo on the car this weekend. Made a little bit more power and the clutch was slipping, so we made some changes. Kind of testing something new. It seemed to work on that last qualifier. Um, kind of messed up our launch strategy, but clutch held the power. I went 822, 187. So that shows that there's some uh, uh, some potential there to go fast. So now if we can get the launch down. Uh, the car should go pretty quick. So we're going into eliminations, kind of with an untested car. Um, we're gonna take a guess at it and see what we can do. Hopefully, we can go quicker. I've been H22 since. 2001. Um, it's never let me down. I was always kind of for being different. Yeah. Haven't found the limit of it yet. Uh, it wasn't a big platform that was supported, so it was like the harder road to travel. Um, the engine makes good power. I mean, it's reliable. It was kind of like the original big block uh, Honda engine. It was kind of the little brother now of the K series. Uh, it was either the B or the H, and I went with the H. I liked the torque back in 2000 when I first did it, and it's just I've just stuck with it. I mean, it works. Like I said, I haven't found the limit. Um, uh, this car has been built 20 years this month. March of 2004 is when I built the car. Uh, so I've been racing this car 20 years. Uh, it was front wheel drive for 15 years and then I made a all wheel drive bell housing. Uh, so for any H series engine, I manufacture a H22 all wheel drive. So the car went all wheel drive five years ago and that was kind of like a game changer. Um, you know, the car's always made horsepower, but could never short track and all wheel drive just kind of really opened it up to now we can actually leave out the whole and uh, make the horsepower out the back. So that's been pretty cool. Uh, goals for this year, it's, as it's any drag race, you always want to go quicker and faster. So I think the car has the potential, I don't know, 740 somewhere in there. It's, you know, it's been as fast as 192, probably 740s, 195. I don't know, just always keep going quicker. It's been 763. Uh, I like to go rounds. It doesn't really matter. Just maybe win some races, go rounds, and just make passes. I mean, if it's, there are some fast uh, all-wheel drive Hondas and right now we're in stick shift and there's six second stick shift cars. It's not an achievable goal for me, but go rounds is what we want to do. Have fun and uh, try to win some races. What's up guys? My name is Joanna and we are here live at Texas 2K. This is my first time ever racing this event. I have my X front wheel drive Civic behind me. Super pumped. Um, I actually ran a mile per hour record here. 198 miles per hour for the K-Series platform. This goes for front wheel drive and all wheel drive. None of those cars have ever hit this mile per hour. Although I wasn't looking to make that goal, uh, we did it and I'm looking for a new PB here. It's really what we've been working towards. Tour track has been pretty terrible for us, something we've been uh, working on all weekend long. So we got first round of e limps coming up today, so we'll see how it goes. So my goal I would say would be to be one of the first girls to run a 7 second pass in the K-Series platform, second girl overall to run a 7 second pass in the X front wheel drive class. First would be Miss PSI. So I'm hoping that I can um, make that goal happen. I was trying to make that happen here, but it looks like this car is loving Florida more than it is Texas. So coming in this class, stick shift class, I'm literally the only front wheel drive car in the class. A little intimidating, but in the end, I'm always said, I'm always racing against myself. I'm always trying to do better and compete with myself at the end of the day. It's uh, my job to do what I can as a driver and let the car do its thing. So anything can happen at the light, the other car can break. Um, they can spin the tire and lose. So. In the end, like I say, I'm really in a competition with myself. Hopefully go home with a new PB. Hey guys, how's it going? This is Charlie Turbos from 316 Speed. We're out of Clearwater, Florida. We made it a trip out here to Texas 2K in uh, Dallas, Texas. We brought four cars out this weekend. Uh, we got the stock motor twin turbo Huracan. We brought two big power built motor, but cast block R8 and one more twin turbo Huracan over here. We're competing in uh, DCT drag and all four were got two cars in DCT elite and two cars in DCT pro. Uh, we went through the roll racing already this week. 
We made it to Elite 8 with one of them. We made it to Unlimited with another. Both cars trapped over 210 mile an hour in the roll racing. Our stock motor car here, we made it into the roll race sport class. We were number one qualifier with 195 mile an hour pass. We took from the number one qualifier, we made it through every single elimination all the way to the final and we took the final against another very competitive car with 197 mile an hour pass. We took the trophy home with that. We made it pretty far with both other cars. Now we're here to the drag event. We're qualified very well and I think we're gonna send it. Alright guys, so that wraps it up for this event. Texas UK was an amazing time. Huge shout out to Seth and Peter. They put on an amazing show and it was the first time in Ennis, Texas and at Texas Motorplex. Well, this facility is very, very nice. Big, lots of parking and just a lot to see and it's just, you can literally sit anywhere and enjoy the racing or even just walk the pits and get to see some of your favorite racers. So, I love a, lot the of celebrities out, <laughs> a lot of celebrities out here and a lot of people that you see online and their cars are definitely here. This show is definitely one not to miss. So if you didn't get to make it this year, be sure to start getting your reservations and everything now for hotels and uh, start getting ready for next year. And if you wanna bring a car, why not? You got a year to get ready for it. So thank you guys for watching. And if you guys are looking for an event near you, head over to the boat and see all the upcoming events. Might be one in your area and get your tickets online. So thank you guys for watching. And as always, see you guys at the next event.